will be in the post. He's six foot five. He's a senior. And Justin Retzlaff, the trail end here of the Retzlaff brothers, a junior at six four. For the Alexander Cardinals, Eric Salmi and Josh Vickerman, the familiar six foot senior guards, will be in their normal starting roles. Ruby Ross, six foot one, a forward. Adam C, six four in the post. And Mark Craigmile, six three, and playing a forward. Off your discount to reveal your savings of 25, 30, or 35 percent off regular prices. Or an extra 5% off sale prices and are there the sales. The baby sale. The white sale. The luggage sale. The jewelry sale. Abe and George, the J.C. Penny mascot dogs say. Scratching in public has never been more rewarding. J.C. Penny, I love your style. Hurry into J.C. Penny in the Viking Plaza. Welcome to the Jefferson High School Gymnasium, Alexandria, Fergus Falls. You're listening to KXUA AM Radio in Alexandria and to KBRF Radio in Fergus Falls. The Otters with the ball, they throw it away underneath. The Cardinals had the, uh, got the opening tip and a shot away, a nice little layup. They missed it, and Fergus got the rebound. They come down to four, now throw it away. Cardinals coming back. No score, just underway here in the first quarter. The Otters in a uh, zone defense, 2-1-2 two, two, or 2-3 two, zone. 2-3 two, zone for the Otters starting out. Cardinals right side, Beckerman. Jump shot, free throw line up. No good. Rebound, scrap four. Comes down to the Otters. And the Otters quickly to the front court. On the right side. On the top, they come to the left for uh, Erickson. Then give it off to Retzloff. Retzloff comes back to the left side for Draxon. Draxon in the corner of Erickson. Erickson dribbling against Selmy. Trying to go to the baseline. Can't. Has to bring it out to Ness. Ness gives it out on top to Draxton. Draxton to the right side, then down in the corner for Ness. Ness in the lane, puts up, partially blocked. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. And so Ness with the first basket of the night. It's 2-0 in favor of the Fergus Falls Otters. And uh, thanks, David. And the Cardinals now into the front court with the ball. Selmy, top of the circle, comes to the right side. And they go down in the corner, down underneath. See the last score. Pass to Mark Craigbell from the wing. Beautiful job. And we're tied at two in tonight's game. The Cardinals and the Otters in the front court. Erickson for the Otters. Comes down in the left corner to Ness. Ness brings it back out on top for Retzloff. Retzloff around to the right side for Erickson. Erickson down in the baseline for Newell. Newell, a little jump shot from Dan is good. Quite a size advantage he has over Newby Ross there and just threw it over him. Otters back in front, four to two as the Cardinals come into the front. And they go to the left side to Newby Ross. Ross brings it back on top to Selmy in the lane. Selmy the layup. It's off no good. Gets his own rebound. And the Cardinals will get it out of bounds underneath the basket as it went off and out of. Moorhead's running that old Moorhead, uh, or I should say first, running the old Moorhead 2-1-2 two two offense, David. And the Cardinals bring it out to the left side, down in the corner of Selmy. Selmy. Lost his dribble, gives it off to Newby Ross. Ross brings it out to Vickerman, back to Selmy to set it up. On the left side for Ross, back out on top, Vickerman. To the left side for Ross in the corner. Ross drives in the lane, tries to dish off to Steve, tipped around, comes down to Steve. Steve brings it back on top to Vickerman. He goes in the lane, comes out to Selmy, tries to drive the left side. Now Selmy throws it away as he tried to force it inside. That's a turnover apiece for the two teams as Erickson comes to the front court, takes the jump shot, no good. Rebound up and in by Jackson. Jackson watched that ball away. Johnny on the spot, and the uh, Riders have a four point lead. 6 2 the Adders in the front court, the Cardinals, and they've got rebound the Cardinals so far 4-1, to one, a big factor so far in this game. Craig Mile in the right corner, skips it across to the left side for Ross. Ross in the left corner, now brings it out to Josh Rickerman, then the top to Selmy, left side to Newby, takes the three-pointer, and it's good, Newby Ross with a three. Nice release, good shot. A little different than the first time we played. Much this slower. Is, yeah, yeah. Pace. I think the zone defense by Fergus is slowing the pace down a little bit. Six to five, the Otters with the lead. Erickson in the front court, threw it away, trying to go down in the baseline to Ness, and it's the second turnover of the game on the Fergus Falls Otters. You can see that emotionally, Fergus Falls is not as hyper as they were over there in their own gymnasium where they had a fantastic game earlier, two weeks ago, in fact, last night. 
Well, the Cardinals coming now up floor into the front court. Vickerman, or Salmi, gives it to Vickerman. Across in the left corner for Nubi Ross. Drives into the lane. Puts it up. It's off real good. Rebound comes down. A foul is going to be called on Nubi Ross. First foul of the game, Dave. And uh, Nubi Ross went over the back and on the arm. So uh, Fergus will throw it in under the, under the Alec basket. Into the front court come the Otters, and a foul is going to be called on Salmi as he tripped Erickson coming up for. Inadvertently, but he did. It was one of the, just an accident, but uh, heard the skin the way up here, Dave. Yeah. The, the skin will grow back. The skin will come back. The Otters bring the ball in, and they've brought Arneson into the game now. And they go to the right side. Arneson gives it down in the corner for Erickson. He takes the jumper from there, and it's good. More, it's going to be more of a motion offense right now instead of the pattern uh, offense that they were running. 8-5, to five, the Otters with the lead. We have 3.50 to play here in the first quarter. Salmi brings it up. The Otters playing 2-1-2, 2-3 zone. And they go to the Cardinals over the right corner to Craigmile. Back across the left side to Newby Ross. Ross on top to Vickerman in the lane, the free throw line off to Vickerman, penetrates, gives off Craig Mile on the right side, 15 foot jumpers off no good, rebound to the Otters, and they quickly come to the front court, Arneson with it, almost lost it, gets it back, now goes down underneath, tipped around, and the Otters bring it back on the right side to Erickson, he comes on top to Arneson, Arneson can't penetrate, goes back to Erickson on the right, Erickson in the lane to Newell, Newell tries to turn around, Newby uh, all over him, he puts it up no good and a rebound a foul is going to be called on Ness over the back as the Cardinals get the rebound. Adam Steve had excellent position that time fundamentally sound rebounding right there. So the Cardinals get the ball back coming back in the game will be Cassette or coming in the game will be Dustin Cassette for the Otters. Cardinals are going to bring in Brody Mack on the left side now Nubi Ross with the Otters leading 8-5 to 2.56 to go first quarter. Left side Nubi Ross drives into the lane goes to the right side to Salmi, gives it off to um, Craig Mile, no good, rebound by Steve is no good, and he got fouled, he'll shoot a pair at the line, Adam Steve for Alexandria, shoot two free throws. Excellent move by Eric Salmi to make penetration, the pass was almost too quick for Craig Mile, he didn't get a real good look at the uh, backboard, but Steve was right there, Johnny on the spot with the rebound. So the free throw by Steve is good, and it's an 8-6 game. So far, uh, the game is in Alexandria's favor as far as tempo is concerned. We have cut down their possessions, and we're playing really good man-to-man -man defense uh, against Fergus. Second free throw is no good, and the Otters get the rebound. And the Otters come to the front court on the left side with it as Cassette comes on top for Titus Christensen, who's now in the game, 5'10", junior. And they come back to the left side. Christensen gives it on top for uh, Cassette. Cassette to the left side for Arneson. Arneson tries to go inside to Newell. It's saved. Tip, then it comes down underneath. Up, no good by uh, Newell. And he got fouled by Craig Mile. Newell will shoot two. Adam Steve made a beautiful save, but unfortunately threw the ball right to Ness. Uh, and then we had to be a switch off, and uh, Newell's running down the middle. Newby had to take him, and uh, Craig Mile had to foul Newell for two shots. So Newell goes to the line to shoot a pair. Newell's free throw is good. And it's a 9 6 lead for the Otters. Retzloff is checking back in, too, Dave. Ness. I believe that's Matt Helscher uh, into the ball game too, Dave. Okay. Second free throw is no good. Brody Mack to rebound for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals come to the front court trailing by three. Helscher out. On the left side, gives it to the right to Vickerman. Back to Craig Mile in the corner, out across to Helscher. Goes to the left side for Newby Ross. Ross to Helscher, back to Newby on the left, goes to the left baseline, now on the dribble, lost it, tips it out to Helscher, saves it. Back to Newby Ross on the left side. Made the three-pointer from over there early, has not shot from there since then. It's our last basket, too, I think. On the left side, now Vickerman drives in the lane, up and good. Could have been a charge, but he got rid of it in time. And it's a 9-8 game. 
They go the Otters, 138 to play on the baseline. Cassette or Christensen, down underneath, no good. Rebound tipped around, and a foul is going to be called on Alexandria. Cardinals uh, looked like they were going to get the rebound. Everybody broke up floor. In the meantime, the Otters banged on it, got it away, and then the foul is called on Brody Mack. I'll tell you what, these guys are letting them play. There's been a lot of fouls that have not been called. and uh, They didn't call many in the big game today, did they? Okay. They maybe are tired. They worked two games. Yeah. The Otters bring the ball in to Christensen. Christensen will set it up. Christensen goes to the right side for Arneson. Up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up again. And this one does go. Good play by Arneson. Didn't give up on it. 11 to 8. The Otters with the lead to the front court. Cardinals Vickerman on the left side with the ball. Doesn't take the shot. Goes in the corner to Craigmile. Craigmile back to Vickerman. Out on top to Helsher. Belcher to the left side for Vickerman. Penetrates off in the corner to Craig Mount. Takes a shot from there. In and out, no good. Vickerman to rebound, no good. Look at Brody Mack up with this rebound. He puts it in. Brody Mack plays pretty well down here at uh, Hollow, too. The Otters come down. They get a fast break. Shot, no good. Get a rebound, no good. Now Newby Ross comes away with the rebound. Cardinals down to Craig Miles. Craig Miles got fouled. And the Cardinals will get out of bounds underneath the basket. That'll be the third team foul on the Otters. The Cardinals have four here in the first quarter. Titus Christensen just uh, looked like he'd met a freight train in Mark Craigmile. Craigmile is not too small. Simon Erickson's back in. He's limping as he comes out. Vickerman's going to inbound. The Otters are going to bring um, Brendan Geese into the game. They really have a lot of players that they can use, and they uh, now they got five shorter players in there, actually, and uh, they can move. Cardinals in the left corner. Bickerman with the jumper. No good. Rebound to the Otters. And the Otters quickly in the front court with the ball. Arneson to the right side for Cassette in the lane. Up, no good. Rebound tipped around. Comes to the Otters. Put back up and in by Retzlaub. Retzlaub got a birthday present on that one. 13 to 10, the Otters with the lead. Cardinals have had chances yep. to take the lead, but the Otters have stopped them, and now the Otters are back up by three. Helsher on the dribble, top of the circle. Way out beyond the arc, goes in the left corner, threw it away. Craigmile wasn't even looking at him, and Helsher just threw it without looking at the turnover on Alexandria. They're second in the game. Each team has two apiece. Fergus Falls crossed us up that time, went to a 1-3-1, one, one, and we were in a 2-3 offense. The Otters... Down floor, quick turnaround jumper, no good at the buzzer. That's the end of the first quarter. The Otters lead the Cardinals by a score of 15 to 10. Let's pause for a minute. And gathering the kind of experience that really makes a difference. Well drilling, water treatment, always looking for the latest, most efficient technology to give you and your family the best water possible and make it affordable. You got questions, give Cloud a shout. They've got the answers without a doubt. Call them up, say, hello there. Here we go in the second quarter. The Cardinals trailing 13 to 10. The Otters had a shot. The Cardinals got the rebound. In the lane now, Vickerman, layup, good, and it's a 13-12 game. Josh Vickerman with the layup basket in the lane. Now the Otters coming back in the front court on the left side. Driving down, Erickson on the baseline, puts it up, no good. Rebound comes to Newby Ross for the Cardinals. Ross will dribble to the front court. On the left side, now comes out on top. Still with the ball, gives it to Tommy to the left side to Ross. Ross looking now uh, decides to take a three. That's off no good. Tommy tips the ball away, and Beckerman saves it from going out of bounds by knocking it off the leg of Tim Erickson. Those are the little things that aren't in the scorebook, Josh, giving us one more possession on a bad pass. Hey, Cardinals go to Craig Mound. Now in the right corner to see. Back out on the right side to Vickerman. Stops the free throw line. Off for Selmy. Drives all the way down in. Off to see. Underneath, see. Brings it back out. They'll start it over to the left side. Selmy takes a high arching three. That's off. No good. Steve, the rebound back up. That's no good. Tips up and around. Moody Ross lays it up and scores. Cardinals are ready with a great job on the boards. Three or four opportunities there, Dave. And the Cardinals have taken the lead for the first time in the game at 14-13. In the front court, come the Otters on the left side, left lap, down underneath, gives it up to 
Yes, and Ness gets an easy basket off the glass. Right off the double team, too. He made a nice shot. 15-13. The Otters back in front. 6.08 to play in the first half. On the left side, Cardinals go to Newby Ross in the lane now to Selmy. Selmy to the right side for Vickerman. Vickerman penetrates and tipped it around. Comes back to Vickerman. He'll set it up again. To the left side for Selmy. Selmy gives it to Craig Mile underneath to see. Layup good. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful pass from Craig Vile down low. Excellent job. 16-15. Cardinals with the lead. Front court comes Erickson for the Otters. Goes to its left. Top of the circle to the left side for Ness. His jumper's off. No good. Rebound tipped around. Comes down to the Otters. Newell in the lane. He puts it up. No good. Rebound tipped around. This one comes to Newby Ross. Into the front court. Vickerman stops. 15 foot jumper. And he scores. Nice assist from... Uh, passing it all the way down the court. 18-15. Cardinals with the lead. 5-18 to play in the first quarter. Left side. The ball to Draxton. Draxton brings it on top of the circle to red slap to the right for Erickson. Erickson goes in the lane to Newell. Turns around. Ball tipped away from him. Knocked around. On the floor. Taken away by Vickerman. That's the third turnover on the Otters as the Cardinals now. Vickerman to the front court. Selmy on the left side. Standing beyond the air comes the Craig Mouth. Free throw line. Jumper. Black. Rebound to the Otters. And the Cardinals, Newby Ross takes it away. Steele, Ross underneath, gets fouled, and the Cardinals will get it out of bounds underneath the basket. That'll be the fourth team foul on Fergus Falls here in the first half. It just doesn't look like in the plate up there. I can't figure out to Dave why they're in a zone with all the speed that they have. Why aren't you trying to speed up the tempo of the game and get into a man-to-man? Arneson comes back in for the Otters. The Cardinals bring the ball in the left corner to Zeeb. He gives off to Vickerman. His shot black. Rebound to the Otters. The Otters quickly down four on the left side. Layup good by Ness. And just as we said that, they went to a man-to-man, Dave. And the Otters now down by one. 18-17. Cardinals to the front court. On the dribble, Salmi. Otters into man-to-man this time. Salmi on the left side. Goes to the left baseline all the way down in. Underneath. He got fouled as he put the shot up. Foul will be called on Brent Ness. And he'll shoot two. Salmi will. Excellent drive that time, Dave, by Eric Salmi. He went up made contact with a much bigger player. And uh, will shoot a pair. That's the third foul on Ness. And the fifth team foul on the Otters. They're going to bring back Christensen and Cassette back into the game. And the first one is good. 19-17 Cardinals now lead. Somebody hits his first fourth point of the night. Ferguson comes in for the Cardinals. Vickerman comes out for a rest. Second free throw now by Selmy is also good. And the Cardinals lead it 20 to 17. Into the front court, the Otters on the left side. Jump shot, Christensen off, no good. Gets his own rebound. Trying to drive against Craig Mile, lays it up and scores. Nobody took him, nobody matched up on the way down the court. 20 to 19. The Cardinals with the lead by one. Now into the lane, Selmy. Reverse layup, no good. Newby the rebound, he puts it back and scores. Newby Ross is doing a great job here in the first half. 22 to 19. And the Otters come right back with a quick basket. Jackson. And it's 22-21. We get a timeout called by Alexandria with 3.51 to go in the first half. Let's pause for 30 seconds. Sports Magic is coaching Plaza. You're listening to KXRA AM Radio in Alexandria and to KBRF Radio in Fergus Falls. We again welcome the Fergus Falls listeners to our broadcast. Cardinals lead 22-21. And the Cardinals with the ball. They give it in the lane to Brody Mack. Back to Craig Mile. Got a left side for Newby Ross. Ross drives the left baseline underneath. Reverse layup. Good. Newby Ross is really taking over here in the second quarter with his third hoop. 24-21, now quick jump shot down floor by the Otters, no good by Cassette, Cardinals with the rebound, and the Cardinals come to the front court, and Ferguson underneath has to dribble himself clear into the corner, gives the ball off to Selmy, Selmy on the dribble on the left side, the Otters playing man-to-man right now, comes out to Newby Ross, top of the circle, Ross drives to the free throw line, has a little trouble with the ball, gets it back, still on the dribble, now moves across the top of the circle, gives the ball to Craig Mile. Craig Mile comes on top for Selmy. Selmy drives into the lane, puts it up and scores. Selmy really is the guy on the spot on that drive. 26-21, five-point lead for the uh, for the Cardinals. 
And on the right side, they give it to Christensen. Christensen goes in the lane to Newell. Newell spins, drives around, puts up a jumper, no good. Got fouled by Newby Ross, and Newell will go to the line to shoot a pair. Newby, uh, size differential there, but he really had to undercut him to stop him. Newby has really had a great uh, first half, and it's his second foul, but uh, we're going to have to keep him around here, Dave. He's doing a great job. At the line, Newell to shoot a pair. 26-21, and the Cardinals with the lead. Free throw by Newell is no good. At this point, Dave, this is not the same Alexandria team that showed up in Apollo. Much more tenacious here this evening. And I'm sure this isn't the same Fergus Falls team that played us two weeks ago either. So the second free throw now by Newell is up. This one is good. And it's a 26-22 lead for Alexandria. 2.39 to play in the first quarter, first half. Front court comes Vickerman. Stops, comes on top to Sieve. Sieve. One bounce to the right side, gives the ball to Ferguson. Ferguson with a jump shot. That's off, no good. Ferguson gets his own rebound, clears it back out. Vickerman will set it up. Now Vickerman loses the ball. Down the floor, scramble. The Otters come away with it, and then it's kicked out of bounds by the Otters. So both teams turn it over back and forth. Great hustle by Brody Mack. He came and tipped that ball off the Fergus Falls Otters' foot. And that's the kind of hustle you like to see. He's got a great competitor, Brody is. So the Otters coming now to the front court. For the Cardinals, I'm sorry. Newby Ross on the right side. Shot no good. Ferguson the rebound for the Cardinals. Cardinals were out rebounded in the first quarter, but they've come back much better in the second quarter. Now, Adam C. with a jump shot from about 10 feet is good. And the Cardinals lead 28-22. Front court come the outers on the right side to uh, Christensen. Christensen brings it on top to Cassette. Cassette back to the corner to Christensen. Looking for Newell. And uh, wants to give it to him. Can has to bring it out to Arneson. To the left side for Cassette. Cassette set on top to Christensen, right side for Arneson. He uh, threw it away, changed his mind in the middle of a jump shot, and the Cardinals get a fast break layup by Scott Ferguson. What a beautiful play by Brody Mack and Ferguson fill in the lane. 30 to 22, and into the front court comes Cassette, gives it back to Arneson. And that last shot, Arneson changed his mind, didn't take the shot, and eventually ended up throwing it away, and the Cardinals got a fast break basket. Now foul's gonna be called on Ferguson in the lane, as he knocked the ball away from uh, Peter Drankston. And so the Otters will get the ball underneath the basket. Sixteen ball on the Cardinals. Great defensive rotation that time as the uh, Cards doubled down on the big guy. And then Drankston was open and uh, Brody slipped over from the side and fouled him. And the Cardinals bring in a couple players. The Otters bring in a couple as well. The Otters bring it in to Erickson. Erickson, guarded by Selmy, wants to go left baseline. Can't. Has to bring it back on top to Arneson. Arneson to the left side. Ball tipped away, and a whistle of foul is going to be called on Steve. And Arneson will go, or um, Braxton will go to the line and shoot one and one. Steve had his hand in the cookie jar there as uh, Braxton was going by him. First foul on Steve. That's the seventh team foul on the Cardinals. And so the Otters in the one and one the rest of the first half. 106 to play. And the free throw is up, and no good. Rebound to see for the Alexandria Cardinals. The Otters one for three here in the second quarter, and free throws one for two in the first quarter. On the right side, Selmy wants to drive, does, cut it straight, puts it up, and scores. Looks like he was able to do over at Fergus. He's got six this quarter. And the Cardinals lead by 10, 32, 22, with 45 seconds to go. Now Erickson into the lane. Shot blocked by Selmy. Rebound to the Otters. They put it down underneath, and a traveling violation on the Otters as they try to reverse layup underneath. And I think it was Arneson, and he got the traveling violation. Cardinals will get the ball with 35 seconds to go in the first half. They're going to go for one. They lead it 32-22. Back at Fergus Falls, the first time these two teams played at the half, it was 44-33 in favor of the Otters. And the Cardinals on the left side, Bickerman gives it to Craig Mow. Craig Mow dribbling, comes out on top, gives off to Selmy. Selmy getting double teamed with 10 seconds to go in the um, half. Selmy on the left side. Selmy drives into the lane to the right side for Bickerman, takes the three. It's good! At the buzzer! Josh Bickerman with the three at the buzzer, and the Cardinals lead it 35 to 22 here at the Jefferson High School Gymnasium. Welcome back with the Randy's Men's Wear Halftime Show in two minutes. Underneath Craigmile, layup, good! Nice backdoor cut from Mark Craigmile. 
39-25, Cardinals with the lead. As Erickson comes to the front court, guarded by Asami, Cardinals play man-to-man, and he throws it down underneath, trying to get it it's off the boards for Newell. Newell now lays it up and scores. He kind of alley yeah. to Newell, and it was too far off the glass. It came down into Newell's hands. He put it back up in the end. Right side, Newby Ross, the jumper, no good. Rebound to the Otters. And they move quickly front court. Erickson on the right side. Gave it off underneath. It was saved. Now comes to the left side for Erickson. Down underneath and put up and good by Jackson, I believe. Yep, that was Jackson. And it's 39-28 in favor of the Cardinals. Into the front court. Cardinals on the left side. Booby Ross. Ross brings it out. Cardinals throw it away. Selmy saves it. And Selmy bangs it off of one of the Otters. Bangs it off of Draxton. As he was falling out of bounds. Nice save yes. by Selmy there to keep the ball from going out of bounds. Now the Cardinals will set it up. Selmy on the dribble. Left side in the corner for Craig Miles. Craig Mile comes to Vickerman. Vickerman tries to penetrate, brings it back to Craig Mile. Craig Mile dribbling, top of the circle, goes to the lane, spins in. His shot rejected by Newell, but it comes back to Vickerman. So Vickerman driving at the free throw line, now comes to the left side for Craig Mile. Craig Mile to the right for Newby Ross. Ross looking inside. Cardinals patient, puts it down underneath to Steve. Steve gives off to Craig Mile in the lane. Fakes puts it up and scores. Beautiful ball. Cardinals showing a lot of patience and really getting good shot selection right now. 41-28 into the front court. Erickson to the left side. Down in the corner for Ness. Ness brings it back out to Braxton. Drives in the lane. Gets double teamed. Comes off to Erickson. Erickson cross court to the left side for Ritzlaff. He drives. He scores. He got fouled. And he'll shoot a free throw. Nice move by Jason Redflap on the weak side. They saw him over there. A little taller than Mark Craig by all that. Mark got caught with his uh, hand doing a little chin up on his arm there. And he stuffed it in the basket and will shoot one. 41-30. Cardinals with the lead. And the free throw is off. No good. Rebound to Annette. And a foul is called as he tries to put it back up. He'll shoot two. Craig Mile again. That's his third. Remember when Fergus Falls and Craig Mile got in foul trouble yep. and took the wind out of our sails. Now he has three. And I'm going to see if, see if Coach Olsen will go to the bench here. Ness yep. like is going to shoot a pair. 6'5 yep. senior puts the first one up. It's in and out. No good. Fergus Falls had a little tough luck from the line tonight. Remember the game over at Fergus. They were pretty hot. Ed Reif comes into the game for Craig Mile. And the second free throw by Ness. Is up in the air, and this one is good. So he makes one of two, and it's 41-31. Alexandria, as Salmi comes to the front court. Drives the left side of the lane, gives off to Bickerman. Bickerman back in the corner to right. Reif brings it on top to Newby Ross. Ross, top of the circle, moving to the right for Selmy. Selmy penetrates into the lane, stops, gives it to the left side to Steve. Back out to Selmy. Selmy drives into the lane again, all the way, left-hander, no good. Rebound, step for, comes off to the Cardinals, Vickerman. Gives off to Steve underneath, up in the end. One hustle by the Cardinals. Newby kept that ball alive to Vick, and Vick and Steve for the layup. 43-31, Cardinals lead by 12. Left side, Erickson goes on the baseline to... Newell, no good, and a whistle of foul called on Newell over the back on the rebound. Cards met that challenge very well. They had a drive, and they took away the charge, and uh, they threw the ball way over Newell's head, and Newell trying to save it out of bounds. So the Cardinals uh, come down floor. One team foul here on the Otters in the second half. Two on the Cardinals. On the left side, Bickerman for the Cardinals, standing up beyond the arc. They swing it around to the right. Selmy penetrates the baseline, puts it up, and scores! I don't think that Braxton can take uh, Selmy a one-on-one. 45-31, sure. Cardinals lead here in the third quarter with 3.42 to play. Right side is Erickson. Erickson gives it off to uh, Draxton. Down on the baseline, knocked out of bounds off of the Cardinals, and the Otters get it back. Arneson coming in for the Otters, and he'll come in for Retzlaff. Cardinals are really doing a great job of taking the passing lanes away. Excellent defensive game. Cardinals, or the Otters with the ball, shot no good, rebound 
by the Otters, no good. This time, uh, Newby gets hauled down. The Otters get the rebound, a layup good by Draxton. Nice play by Arneson. And it's 45-33. In the front court, Cardinal Strickerman in the left corner comes on top to a newbie Ross. Ross stops his dribble back to the left side to Vickerman. Down underneath for Steve. Steve has it knocked out of his hand. The pass was a little too far for him. And the Otters, Arneson, quickly down floor to Draxton. No good. Rebound in the corner. Saved by the Otters. And the Otters are starting to take control of the boards again. Yep. It's knocked out of bounds by the Cardinals. And the Otters will get it out of bounds underneath the basket. Good block by Adam C. The Fergus faithful wanted a foul. And it might have been, but it was a good effort. Well, they aren't calling it either way in this right. ball game right now. Now they bring it all the way out to Erickson. Erickson on the right side. Drives into the lane. Spins around. Throws it up. It's no good. He got fouled and will shoot two. Salmi hacked him on the way up, and the good thing I think rolled out because they would have had a three point opportunity. Free throw line will be Tim Erickson for the Otters. Andrew Bellamy will get ready to check in the game. And for the Otters, Titus Christensen's going to come back. He'll come in after the first free throw. First one is good. 45 34. Alec with the lead. Erickson. Steve comes out as Bellevue comes in. Erickson's third point only tonight, and he had a ton over there at Fergus against the Cards. Second free throw by Erickson is up, and this one is no good. Newby gets the rebound, and on the rebound, we get a lane violation called on the Cardinals. I think Eddie Wright jumped in a little early. Carter saying Newby head. jumped in too soon. Oh, Newby? Okay. So the violation gives it another shot at it. And this one is good. And it's 45-35 in favor of the Cardinals as the Cardinals come up floor with 2.50 to go in the third quarter. In the right corner to right down underneath for uh, Bellevue. Bellevue has a little trouble with it. A foul is going to be called on Ness kneeing Bellevue as he spins around and drives. Yeah, he did. He kneed him and uh, bodied him and knocked him on the ground. I don't know what people are complaining about that one for. Set comes into the game for the Otters. He'll come in for Ness. Ness picks up his fourth foul with 2.44 to go here in the third quarter. Cardinals will inbound. Selmy the left side to Bickerman. Bickerman comes back out to Rife. Rife gives it to Newby Ross to the right side, Selmy. Selmy down underneath. Ball tipped away by Erickson over the back of Bickerman. And that'll be the third team foul on the Otters. Just not a smart foul at all. There's no way he's going to score with it. If he does get the ball, he just reached way over the back. Little things that Fergus was not doing earlier against the Cards. Cardinals bring the ball inbounds to uh, Rife. Rife got double teamed. Now gives off to Selmy. Drives into the lane. Off for Newby Ross. Eight foot jumper. Good. Give that basket to Selmy because Ross benefited a beautiful pass. Nice Eric. assist. Now quickly down four. The Otters come down. Christensen puts it up. He got fouled by Ross, and Christensen will shoot two. Yeah, Newby got him on the arm a little bit uh, as Christensen was going to the basket. That's the third foul on Newby. Can't afford to lose him the way he's playing tonight. That's the fourth team foul on the Cardinals in the second half, and Helser's going to come back into the game for the Cardinals. Christensen's free throw is no good. Fergus Falls not shooting the ball well from the line tonight. That's uh, two, three, for six, 50%. So at the line, it'll be Christensen to shoot the second one now. And this one is good. So he makes one of two, and it's 47-36. And we got a timeout on the floor. Let's pause for 30 seconds. Getting the most Zambria. After the timeout, the Otters come with some full court pressure, but the Cardinals easily into the front court. Vickerman on the left side, has the ball knocked away from him, gets it back, gives it to Helsher. The Otters coming out to meet the Cardinals all over. Helsher having, having trouble with it, gives it off to Rife on the right side to Selmy, drives into the lane, now puts up the jumper, it's good. Selmy really is having a night. He loves to play against Fergus. 49-36, Cardinals lead, 155 to play in the third quarter. Now Arneson drives all the way down. Down, throws it up, no good. He got fouled, and he's going to shoot two. Thought the foul came long before the shot, but it's like the uh, like the NBA continuous right. play. Like that. Arneson is really quick. He gets a step on you, and uh, he isn't really built like Charles Atlas. But I'll tell you what, he is quick. He just sliced through the defense that time. Arneson with the first free throw this is good. 49-37. Alec with the lead. Steve comes back into the game for Bellevue. 
for Alexandria. And the second free throw now by Justin Anderson, 5'10", junior. Spins the ball a couple of times, puts it up. This one's in and out, no good. Rebound to right for the Cardinals. And they will bring it up for Reif dribbling all the way to the front court. Still with the ball. Now lost his dribble. Is uh, going to give it off to Steve. It's thrown away. Picked off by the Otters. Quickly, they come down for and throw it away. And the Cardinals get it back. Yeah, they have cards in next to the Otters. And next an opportunity to cash in the turnover. And they just one dribble, one pass, and boom, is out of bounds. Brendan Geese comes back into the game for the Otters coming out. I think was Draxton. Cardinals bring the ball into Vickerman. 1.30 to play here in the third quarter. Vickerman driving all the way to the front court, guarded by Erickson. Comes into the lane, gives off the right side to Rife. Rife out on top to Helter. Left side to Vickerman. Vickerman penetrates, puts it up, off, no good. Rebound Christensen for the Otters. He outlets pass, down four very quickly. Arneson, jump shot up, no good. He got fouled, they said. And the foul is called on Salmi. Salmi got him on the arm. There was no way he's going to make that shot. He just threw it up there, but it was a heads-up play by Arneson. Fergus Falls, Dave, has gone to five players, all under 5'11 right now. To kind of speed up the tempo of this game, I would think. And so far, it's worked. They've done a nice job with it in the last two possessions. They're going to take it out of bounds underneath the basket. They said there was no shot. No shot. I think that might be a good call because that, I, if that was a shot, I would think the coach might bench him. Now they uh, bring it in on the left side for Erickson. Drives down. He throws it up. No good. Rebound tipped around. And the Cardinals get it. And the Cardinals come down for Selmy on the right side. He puts it up. He scored. He got five. And he'll shoot a free throw. And Coach uh, Gary Shuler is not very happy right now. Not a happy camper, that's for sure. He's going to pick one up. Maybe a tee would be, do his team some good right now because they're pretty flat, right? 51-37. Bellevue is going to come back in the ball game for the Alexandria Cardinals. Eric Salmi will go to the free throw line. Salmi is uh, playing an excellent basketball game here tonight. He has 8, 10, 12, 14 points going for number 15. Free throw is no good. Rebound tipped around. Rive had it, couldn't control it. Comes to the Otters. 51-37, quickly to the front court. Geese on the left side with the ball. Brings it out to Arneson. Arneson to the right side for Christensen to Erickson. Erickson swings, throws it up. It's blocked off of Erickson, out of bounds. And the Cardinals will get the ball back. What excellent defensive effort by Eric Salmi that time. He just out-hustled Erickson. Bellevue comes in for Salmi. Salmi comes out. The Otters going to put full court pressure on. Cardinals lead 51-37 with 48 seconds to go. Helcher dribbling against the press, against Arneson. Comes to the front court. Still on the dribble. To the left side. Gives it to Rice. Takes a three. It's good. Eddie Rice hits the three. Just like he did over at Apollo the other day. 54-37, and the Otters to the front court, Erickson. Dribbling down in the baseline underneath, all the way, lays it up and scores. Nice move by Erickson. And it's 54-39. He took it all the way to the basket that time, went to the baseline. You can see he was going to go all the way. Into the front court, now comes Helsher for the Cardinals. Helsher dribbling down to the baseline, and gives off on the right side to Bellevue. Out to right, his three is no good, rebound, tipped around, off to Helsher, up, no good, rebound to the Otters with four seconds. They come down for throw up a three, it's no good. That's the end of the third quarter, and the Cardinals lead 54-39. The Stimcoe Used Car and Truck Sale of the Year, with no gimmicks and no giveaways. That's today only at Steinbrings in Alexandria. Here we go, the fourth quarter, the Otters with the ball on the left side, give it to Retzlaff down inside, now back out to Retzlaff, doesn't take the shot, goes back inside to Ness, turn around, no good, rebound comes right back to Retzlaff, up, no good, and Newby Ross gets this rebound, he's fouled over the back by Newell. I tell you what, the Cardinals are playing just a perfect basketball game on defense. They have the inside position on all the rebounds picked off, and uh, they had to go over our back. Even though they're a taller ball club, we've had great position. We're holding it. Well, here come the Cardinals. Back in a right now, 54-39. The Cardinals um, in the 
Perry Ross gives the ball to Vickerman. Vickerman tries to get off to Mack, gave it off too far, and it goes out of bounds to be given back to the Otters underneath the Cardinal basket. And so the Cardinals coming up, or the Otters coming up for Erickson with it to the front court. Erickson on top to Retzlaff. Retzlaff to the left side for Ness, driving the baseline, stops. Eight-foot jumper, no good. Mack the rebound, outlet pass ahead to see. Steve stops, can't get the fast break, comes back to Helser, left side to Bickerman. Bickerman comes on top to Helser to the right side, Newby Ross. Ross in the right corner to Bickerman. Bickerman out on top to Steve. Steve drives in the lane, brings it back to Bickerman. To Helser, drives in the lane, throws it to the right corner to Mack. Mack doesn't go to the baseline, back to Steve. Now to the left side for Ross, to Helser, 6.50 to play in the ball game. Steve on the right side, drives all the way in, up off the board, no good, rebound. Retzlaff, Retzlaff, clears out to Erickson, Erickson to the front court. On the right side, gives it in to Newell, Newell off underneath, layup good by Braxton. We do not have to even take a shot now, there, we have the five quick players and they have three real big players, four big players, we can just take our time. 54-41, Cardinals with the lead, with 6.23 to play, Helser with the ball on the right side to Mack. Mack comes back to Helser, to the left side for Newby Ross. Newby across the free throw line, brings it out to uh, Mack. Mack comes to Vickerman, to the right side for Helser. To the left side for Steve, in the corner to Mack. Mack, one bounce in out to Newby Ross. Ross drives into the lane, puts up the jumper, it's off no good. Rebound tipped around, saved by Mack. Mack in the left corner, spins away, then lost the ball, and the Otters take it away. Cardinals with two turnovers in a row. The Otters come down, Erickson, off underneath, layup good by the Otters, Retzlaff. And a timeout's going to be called by the Cardinals, leading 54-43. Let's pause for a minute. Just because she's leaving home doesn't mean she has to. The Otters with full court pressure as we come back after the timeout. 5.45 to play. Cardinals lead by 10. Bring it into Mack. Ahead to Vickerman. Vickerman all the way. Layup. No good. Rebound to the Otters. The Cardinals blow a fast break basket. And the Otters coming back. Newell on the left side to Retzlaff. Retzlaff gets fouled by Brody Mack and will shoot the one and one. Alexandria broke up the pressure beautifully, but Josh flew through the air instead of maybe jumping toward the basket. Uh, just rolled off the rim. It's one certainly the Cards could have used, and the Otters needed to keep this thing turned around here. That's a four-point swing, missing that basket, yep. now coming back and shooting free throws. Could be. Retzlaff has missed his one opportunity tonight. Coming into the game for the Otters will be Erickson. Looks like he's going to come in for Retzlaff. Retzlaff free throw is no good, and a whistle... We're in early again. I don't know which one of our players, but they got to let it hit the rim. we got to let it hit the rim. The old rule... I thought it was once it was released, they could nope, go. No, nope, that's changed two years ago. Yeah, okay. they have to hit the rim now. So the free throw comes up. This one is no good as well. And the rebound comes down to Vickerman for the Cardinals. So the Cardinals coming to the front court. Selmy with the ball. On the right side, still with it. Dribbling into the right corner for Vickerman. Vickerman moves back to Craigmile. Craigmile underneath, threw it away, tried to force it inside. Cardinals have turned it over three times in a row. Newell comes down, and a foul called before the shot, and Newell's going to shoot one and one. Newby Ross had chested him so he couldn't get the layup. Probably a good move. Luke Newell had a high in that basket. He was headed for that hole. Erickson coming back in the game for the Adders, comes in for Retzloff. Steve's coming back in the game. He's going to come in for Newby, who picked up his fourth foul with that foul on Newell. Newell at the line, shoot one and one. That's the eighth team foul on the Cardinals here in the second half. Free throw by Newell is off, no good. And the rebound, C for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals will come up floor again. Salmi with it. Cardinals have not scored here in the fourth quarter in the first three minutes. Salmi all the way, left hand layup, he scores. There it is, Salmi's back to drive. He drove it to the basket, 56-43. Left side, three is good by Arneson. Beautiful shot by Arneson. And it's 56-46. Vickerman to the front court for the Cardinals. Vickerman on the dribble to the left side for Brody Mack. Mack coming out, threw the ball away, picked off by the Adders, and down, this the layup he scores. Take care of the ball a little better. 56-48. Now we get a foul call on the Adders. Arneson 
The Cardinals with four turnovers here in the fourth quarter. Had only five coming into the fourth quarter. And a foul called on the other timeout taken by the Alexandria Cardinals. Let's pause for 30 seconds. Professional service and the finest names and appliances. At Alexandria Appliance Sales and Service, you'll be assured the height. And have gotten the lead back down to just eight points. Now the Cardinals to the front court against the press. Dickerman comes to the left side to Craigmile. One bounce and out to Steve. Steve to the right side for Salmi. Salmi looking, now dribbling, comes into the lane all the way, gets fouled by Braxton, and he'll shoot the one and one. Nice drive by Eric. He's drawing the foul. Gives a chance to get us two more points. And uh, Fergus Falls is uh, doing a great job of collapsing on him, but they just didn't quite get there in time on him that time. Newby Ross comes back in for Brody Mack. And at the line to shoot one and one, Eric Selmy. Big free throws for the Cards now. Uh, we have to gain some momentum back here. Fergus Falls has really done a nice job here in the fourth quarter. Selmy, free throw is up and good. 57-48. Curtis Falls has had opportunities. They've missed a number of free throws here, Dave, in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. Second free throw by Selmy is also good. 58-47. And the Otters to the front court. Anderson left side. Takes the jumper. Good. He hit the three again. 58-51. The Otters back within seven. Cardinals didn't pick him up. Nobody was on him out there. Let him shoot. Now, Salmi gives the ball left side to Nubi Ross. Nubi, driving to the right, comes to Salmi. Salmi has it tipped away, gets it back. Salmi, looking for someone to pass to, comes to the left side for Vickerman. Vickerman, driving to the left side, and a foul is called. And a Cardinals will go to the line. Vickerman's going to shoot one and one. We're doing an excellent job of penetrating, going to the basket, and trying to uh, get some easy lead. They have to foul us now pretty much. They're not going to be able to uh, give us an easy layup. And Curtis Falls has definitely picked up the tempo with Arneson's two three-pointers. And the free throw by Vickerman is good. 59-51. And the second one coming by Vickerman. These are really big, Dave, uh, because of the fact that Fergus Falls is going to score. They really found the uh, system going here now in their offense. Second free throw by Vickerman bounces around and comes down good. 60, 51. Into the front court, the right-hand corner. They give it to Draxton. Draxton. Dribbling gives off to Arneson. Arneson on the right goes to the baseline all the way down underneath. He traveled with it underneath. And the Cardinals, that's the first turnover on the Otters in the fourth quarter. And their ninth of the game. Cardinals also with nine in the game. And they bring the ball in. Back away from Steve. And out of bounds, off of Steve. And the Otters get it back. Turnover by the Cardinals. Yep. On the inbounds pass, we've got to throw the ball with a little more zip on it. We can't lay it out there. Uh, Neal did a great job of saving that play when he knocked it out of bounds. And Steve got hurt when the ball came bouncing back. And it hit him right uh, in the groin area, and he just has, has lost his win. Yeah. And it was one of those unintentional yeah. things that happened in so on. So the Otters have the ball underneath their basket in the right corner. They look to bring it in, and they bring it out to Erickson. Erickson has it tipped away, but a foul call on Bickerman. That's what we do not need to do now is foul with the clock stop because they're going to get a chance to score now while the clock is... Uh, 19 foul on the Cardinals. And so at the line will be 60-51, Cardinals by 9, 3.6 to play. And the free throw by Erickson, no good, rebound, tipped around, comes to the Otters in the right corner, and they'll have it. They'll set it up, Erickson to the left side for Arneson. Arneson out on top to Jackson, the right side for Christensen, or for um, uh, Erickson, drives in, lays it up and scores. Nice move by Erickson. 60-53 now. Seven-point lead for the Cardinals, three minutes to play in the game. Front court comes Salmi in the right corner to Newby Ross. Ross has the ball knocked around, kicked around, but it comes right back to Vickerman. Vickerman gives off to Selmy. Selmy drives underneath, puts it up, it's score. by Selmy. That was a fantastic basket over the 6-7 or 6-5 miss. 62-53, left side, three is no good by the Otters. Arneson and the Cardinals come down for it. Selmy, the layup, he scores! And Eric Selmy, what a nice, on a beautiful pass from Vickerman. 
and a fast break. And the Otters come to the front court. With it is Erickson. Erickson to the right side in the corner to Arneson. He stops. Can't get the shot off. Gives it to Newell. Newell, reverse layup. Good. Beautiful move by Newell. 64-55. 2.13 to play here in the game. And the Cardinals, Salmi to the front court. In the right corner for Newby Ross. Drives into the lane. All the way. Lays off. No good. Rebound. Newell. And Newby got two far raise. Arneson now throws it up and scores. Ball was skipped by Victor, but Arneson put it right back up. We don't have to shoot, Dave. We've got enough points to win the ball game right now. 64 57. Now that you have a layup, you try and go for it, and it, we just missed it. Vickerman dribbling. Now, still dribbling. Drives into the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound to the Otters. And for the Otters, get it back with 140 to play. Cardinals lead by seven. In the front court, Newell driving in the lane. Off underneath. Up. No good. Blocked by the Cardinals. Wigmile. The Otters get the rebound. Goes out of bounds. It'll be given back to the Otters. With 125 to play here in the ballgame. This game's every bit as exciting as the first one. Christensen back in for the Otters. Comes in for Draxton. And a timeout called by the Fergus Falls Otters. Let's pause for a minute. Looking for a place that'll fix your vehicle without the hassle? A place you can trust? Senex Car Care Center. Your Cardinals, the Otters will have the ball down in the right-hand corner. 1.25 to play. Cardinals lead by 7, 64 to 57. And it'll be Ness inbounding for the Otters. Looking underneath, brings it out instead to Christensen, takes the three. He hits the three. Nice three-point pass. 64-60. And the Cardinals to the front court. Selmy on the dribble. Ball knocked away now. A foul called on Christensen. And Selmy will go to the line with 1-12 to play. Fergus Falls does not know how to quit. They've had a lot of wins this year, and they always look for a way to win. And that's why they're making this ferocious comeback. That's the 19 foul on the others. Both teams now with nine. Both will have the double bonus from here on. 1-12 to play. Sell me at the free throw line. Cardinals lead 64-60. Free throws good. Mighty big one again with 112. 65-60. to And the second one coming from Salmi. And this one is up and no good. Rebound to Newell for the Adders. And they come to the front court. Erickson driving the baseline on the right side. Brings it back out. Christensen to Arneson. Left side. Goes into the lane. Tips around. Gets the ball back out to um, Erickson. To the right side for Christensen. Out to Arneson. Arneson to the left side. He takes the three. That's good. 65-63 as Arneson hits another three with 50 seconds to go. A timeout called. Let's pause for 30 seconds. His assistant, Tinkemeyer, is standing there as well. And uh, they're getting treated to a front basketball game tonight here. 65-63. The Otters have scored 24 points in the fourth quarter to 9-10-11 for the Alexandria Cardinals. And the Otters, Arneson, a big fourth quarter. Cardinals bring the ball into Bickerman. Back to Salmi. 45 seconds to go. Salmi on the dribble to the front court. On the right side, all the way into the lane. Lays it up. He scores! 67-63. And a dump shot from the left side. In and out. And good! Oh, wow. By the Otters. A two-pointer. I don't know who got it. Christensen got it, I guess. And a foul call on the Otters. 67-65. Oh, they gave him a three over there. Sell me to shoot two. And the free throw is good by Selmy. 68-66. This is a big one here. That forces him to go for three. 27 seconds to go in the game. And Selmy at the line. Selmy's second free throw is good. And it's 69 to 66. Three-point lead. Here come the Otters to the front court. Erickson with the ball. On the dribble. Stops. Now looking for someone to go to. To the left side for Ness. Gives off to uh, Arneson. Arneson takes a three. It's no good. Rebound. Underneath. Goes out of bounds. Off of the Otters. The Cardinals get it back with eight seconds to go. Cardinals going to win it now, Dave. Timeout called by Fergus Falls with eight seconds on the clock. 
as the Cardinals get the rebound and will pause for 30 seconds. Before the game or after the game, your best bet is with Subway. And so the Cardinals will get it. Eight seconds to go in the ball game. Two big free throws by Eric Salvi. He has 21 points in the second half alone. 69 to 68, the Cardinals with the lead. The Otters coming with full court pressure. It'll be Vickerman inbounding for the Cardinals. Looking, gives it in to Newby Ross. Ross gets fouled with seven seconds on the clock. And Newby Ross will shoot two. All he has to do is make one, game, and I think it's pretty well over. But uh, he misses both. They do have a last set, second shot to throw in a three-pointer. That only took one second off the clock. The Cardinals are going to put four players back. Right. And so Newby Ross is going to shoot a pair of free throws. This is by far the best basketball team the Cardinals have played all year. Free throw by Ross is good! 70 to 66 for the Cardinals. And a timeout call again by the Alexandria Cardinals, so let's pause for 30 seconds. Call a timeout, so uh, Louie makes this, and uh, uh, really it's academic because uh, it's a two-possession game for uh, Fergus Falls. You know, let's, let's hope we don't follow the three-point shot. So well, here we go. The Otters with just two players under the knees for the rebound, and three back. The free throw by Newby is good. 71 to 66. And the Otters bring it in to Arneson. Dribbles into the front court, stops, takes the three. Gets it in and out, no good. Rebound to Vickerman. And the Cardinals have beat the Otters tonight by a score of 71 to 66. A big win, upset for the Alexandria Cardinals tonight here at the Jefferson High School Gymnasium. We hope you enjoy the broadcast both in Alexandria and Fergus Falls. It was a great game up there. It was a greater game for Alexandria down here. It was a great game up here for the Otters and a greater game up there for them. But the Cardinals win it tonight. And what a fabulous job for the Alexandria Cardinals. They hold on, leading by 15 going to the final quarter. And at one point by 17 in the game, they hold on and win it 71 to 66. We're going to come back.